On Bladen Races Day on the 9th of June, Newcastle is set to get an exciting new bar. Here on the quayside, it's going to get its first Irish themed bar. And in this video, I'm going to take a little bit of a closer look at it and what you can expect. It's coming up. Welcome back, it's Eddie here from Tyneside Life. So this is the second video about Newcastle's pub and nightlife scene. So I'm going to do a few of these videos about Newcastle because it's such a cracking night out. I'm going to be doing videos about the good, the bad and the bloody ugly. So yeah, I'm here on the quayside. Um, if Newcastle isn't the best place for a night out for young and old, then it certainly must be in the UK in the top five. It's such a brilliant night out. A lot of it to do with its location next to the river, the bridges, but also because it's a, a small city centre, so you can walk from anywhere of any significance within 20 minutes, uh, wherever you like to drink. And one of the best places to drink in Newcastle is here on Newcastle's quayside. Of course, it's got the river, it's got the bridges, the scenery, it's got the history, the buildings, um, just full of vibe and energy. It's a great place to come and drink for young and for old. You've got the pubs that you probably recognise um, over the years, the Aiken side, the Bridge Tavern. You've got a Aruna, you've got the Red House and Bob Trollops, uh, but you've got some new bars as well. It's just a superb place to come and drink. So in this video, we're going to be chatting to the owner and uh, whose brainchild it is for this Irish themed bar. We're going to hand it over Hi, my name's Dan Van Imus, and uh, I'm a local lad from South Shields, despite the slightly Dutch-German name. Uh, I went to university in the local area, uh, studying business and marketing. Uh, from there, I did a bit of freelancing for, for bars and restaurants and stuff like that, and then later I went on to start my own uh, digital marketing agency, getting, getting more stuck into that sort of thing. But uh, ever since I was 18, really, I've, I've had the idea of opening up an Irish bar in the, uh, in the centre of Newcastle. Ever since I went to uh, the, like, the famous Temple Bar area in Dublin, uh, and that kind of inspired this new pub called the Dubliner in place of the old Julie's nightclub. Uh, so a little bit about the bar. It's going to appeal to you, I think, if you love live music, you love great food. We've got award-winning pies sourced from uh, the Mill House in Berkeley. We have um, all the sports. So whether it's the football, I mean, it's going to be absolutely bouncing in here. Okay, so if you've never been to uh, the Temple Bar in Dublin, it's, well, for one thing, you absolutely have to go. It's amazing. It's just full of, of live music wherever you go. Everybody's just a little bit cramped together inside a bar, just what, like, just singing and dancing along to, like, Irish tunes and, and even, like, modern stuff. There's literally something for everybody. Uh, the atmosphere there is just fantastic, and you don't half get a good pint of Guinness if that's your thing. So the, uh, the exterior of our bar is actually going to be inspired by the Temple Bar in, in Dublin. I mean, we're probably going to go for a green rather than a red. But apart from that, it'll, it'll very much look similar with big hanging baskets from the top and, and flowers everywhere and a hand-painted sign. Uh, we really want to transform the outside of the building so it just comes completely uh, unrecognisable. I mean, if you ever do go just outside that, that bar, Temple Bar, I mean, let's go take a look inside. If you'd like to see more videos like this and be notified the moment I release the next one, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Yeah, the bar is due to open on the 9th of June, Bladen Races Day, and just in time for Sam Fender's two dates at St James's Park. Very much looking forward to going down to that. This place before and after is going to be absolutely bouncing. We've got live music on all day. It's really, I mean, it looks a shell now, but really when we open, it's going to, it's going to have a completely different feel. It's going to feel like gonna feel like you're in the middle of Temple Bar with a real Irish authentic feel. But a small stage in the corner and sur surrounded with people just having a good time and maybe something to eat as well. If you'd like to support us, um, one of the things you can do is you can go on, we've got some, go on to our website, the dublinandnewcastle.com. We have uh, some merch up there or you can even pre-order your first pint. If you're quick, we've still got a competition on our Facebook page to win what we've called the Dublin and Gold Card which will guarantee you a life, sorry, not a life, God, it'll cost me a fortune. It'll cost, uh, guarantee you a year's supply of uh, whatever your favorite pint is. So whether that's a Guinness or, or one of the lagers that we have on. Thanks, Dan. Can't wait for this particular bar to open. Don't forget it opens on Bladen Races Day, 9th of June, also the same weekend that Sam Fender's playing at St. James's Park. So it's gonna be a cracking weekend. Something Dan forgot to mention, if you check his website out, uh, you can get your name on one of the bricks inside the pub, so you'll be there forever. Um, so if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, because I'm going to do a few more videos about Newcastle's pubs and nightlife and getting down to the nitty-gritty of what goes on in Newcastle. 
on a carnage night out. So, till next time, catch you later.